Hi, I'm Dan Larson, and this is NECA Toys 1989 Movie Batman in four minutes or less. NECA Toys 1989 Movie Batman is a six inch scale figure, which means he's six and three quarter inches at the top of his head and seven inches tall at the tips of his ears. He scales perfectly with all of NECA's other movie properties, so fret not, your Batman vs. Robocop vs. Terminator vs. Alien vs. Predator Instagram photos are going to look great. Packaging for the figure was designed as an homage to the classic 1989 Toy Biz Batman figure that was released when the movie came out. The front and back of the blister card feature recreations of the old logo and artwork with the new figure in place. This is the kind of attention to detail that made a highly sought after figure even more highly sought after. Batman's sculpt has lots of intricate details from the never imitated Tim Burton bat symbol with extra tail parts to Michael Keaton's pouty pursed lips and weak chin. There's a nice mixture of materials to give the figure some variation in texture. His cowl is rubbery, the body armor is a solid, easily broken, breakable plastic. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. His cowl is a rubbery... I can't even get it now. His cowl is rubbery, the body armor... His cowl is rubbery, the body armor is a solid, easily breakable plastic, and he has a cloth cape and interchangeable hands. Collectively, it makes for a very convincing homage to the aesthetic of the on-screen costume. We'll see if that all cuts together. That said, I would have preferred a cape material that felt heavier, or at the very least had some kind of hem. It's the right shape, but this one seems destined to fray, and you can very clearly see through it in a well-lit photo booth. Will someone please think of the toy photographers? Articulation sucks, but if you've watched the film recently, then you'll agree that this figure is actually pretty screen accurate. Whether by design or due to the limitations of keeping the figure's aesthetics intact, it's about as poseable as Keaton himself was in the actual bat suit. He's stiff, he's rigid, and now that I think of it, this figure can turn his head farther to the left and right than Keaton could. While the harder plastic used on this figure looks like the rubbery bat suit, beware moving the joints too far as it has a tendency to be very delicate. NECA Toys long since took over the McFarlane Toys legacy of incredible detail in licensed six inch figures. And I admit that's a strange thing to say considering that McFarlane Toys still exists and is still producing action figures. NECA's 1989 movie Batman was released in late 2014 into early 2015, and maybe even still hitting shelves here and there. Look, I don't know anything about toy distribution or pre-sales or exclusives or anything at this point. All I know is it popped up initially through Warner Brothers' eBay account, then news broke that the figure would be released with a pack-in DVD, and the set was going to be exclusive to Toys R Us. Now your only choice for acquiring this regular version of the figure, as opposed to the video game style pixels to plastic version, which is painted to resemble the pixel art of the 1989 Nintendo game, is the secondary market, aka eBay. He's going to run you about $50 in the package, and you may or may not get the DVD. Due to the scarcity, price, and delicate nature of the NECA plastic, this figure is an easy pass if you're not specifically into Batman, or even more specifically into this version of Batman. Woo! But if you were one of those kids who played with the Toy Biz figure back in 1989 when the world itself revolved around Batman, Woo! when the possibility of comic book movies done well was suddenly real, when Michael Keaton was the Batman, then this figure is a must-have, so buy it if you see it at a reasonable price. And if you see two, they both have interchangeable hands. And they both come with a grappling hook. Leave one for the next collector. Cut! <laughs> Good luck getting that under four minutes. What a mess! <laughs> Good luck. That's what happens when you take two weeks off from shooting. I won't do it. I won't do it.